This is a tutorial on how to use a calculator to evaluate trigonometric expressions. Let's start off with the first example. So here we have the sine of 135 degrees. And we want to know what that value is. But before we do that on the calculator, we need to first check which mode the calculator is in. Because with trigonometry, we could be evaluating angles that are in either degrees or radians. Now since for our example, they want us to find the sine of 135 degrees, we know that this angle is being measured in degrees. So if we go to the mode on our calculator, we could choose which measurement to use for angles. Now by default, the calculator has it set to radians. Now in order to change that, we need to scroll down and then go over to Degrees and then hit Enter. Now our calculator is in degree mode. So when we exit out of here, we could proceed to evaluate this expression. So in this case, we'll start off by putting in sine, which will be right here on the calculator and then type in 135 and then close the parentheses. And then when we hit enter, we get a result of roughly 0 0.707. Now let's go on to another example. This time we want to find the cosine of 30 degrees. Now in this case our angle is being measured in degrees again. So we could just leave it in degree mode. So now to evaluate the cosine, we'll need to hit the cosine button right here and then type in our angle, which is 30. And when we hit enter, we get a result of roughly 0 0.866. Now let's try one more example. This time we want to find the tangent of pi over 4. Well, in this case, our angle is not being measured in degrees anymore. So before we evaluate this, let's change our mode to radians. So we'll go to mode, and then scroll down to radians, and hit enter. Now we're in radian mode. So now let's evaluate the tangent by hitting the tangent button. And now we need to put in pi divided by 4. Well, on the calculator, you could find pi as this blue symbol right here above the caret button. So to reach it, we'll hit second and then the caret or exponent button. And it brings up pi on our screen. So now we need to divide it by 4 and then close the parentheses. So now when we hit enter, we get 1 as our solution. Just keep in mind that when you do it, that you're in the correct mode. Otherwise, you won't get the right answer. And that's how you evaluate trigonometric expressions using a calculator.